Hey, yeah. Uh, sorry it took me so long to get back to you. Um, I, I've been. It feels like I've been in a snowstorm of, of questions and service duties and librarianship responsibilities. I, it's it's taking me a while to, to shovel myself out, as it is still snowing. Um, here I have de-identified your question. Um, and what we're looking for, this is not rhetoric per se, but I think it's etymology. Entomology is like the study of bugs. Um, and etymology is the study of words or the origin of words or the history of words and things like that. So I think that's what we're looking for. Um, and let me show you some of the things that I looked at. Um, so if we're looking for um, just meaning in general, and we don't care about the source, or we're looking for clues about the source that where we can do more scholarly search. Um, etymology is a great keyword to start with. Let me show you my first trick. So if you're out on the open web, um, and my browser, the default, if I type anything up here, it searches Google. In Google, if you typed in um, origin and things like that, you might get some things that are correct and some things that are, are kind of like, really weird. Um, so how do you search just etymology in Google? It's something that I call a contextual search. Whatever you want to search in the context of, if you type in that word or words and then do a colon, that means that Google is going to search for things. It's going to put a greater emphasis on the word etymology. Um, so that's, that's one of them. Kissy fit. And we might even put it in quotes. The important thing though is don't put a space right here because it's Google doesn't like that. So I'm looking up hissy fit, but I only want it to show up. Um, and so some things like this will show up, um, but it's like writingexplained.org. Are they an authority in scholarship? No, they're not. So this is this might be something to get us started. Um, there might be extra keywords like slang. I'm going to add that. That might come in handy later. So that's one thing. You can go through the words, and you can start to build notes of like the origin of words. Um, actually, here's a cool one. Et etym online. But why does etym online exist? Are they there to sell? Are they there to make money or something like that? There's dictionaries you could go in and things like that. So it's it's a mishmash of stuff on the open web. Having said that, if we know etymology, we can, let's go to the library catalog. So if we're going to libutai.edu, and we put in a similar keyword, etym. Etymology and hissy fit. What do we get? Did I misspell etymology? <laughs> we get nothing. That's okay. It's it's unlikely that somebody would write something about. Um, instead of etymology is more of like a framework, uh, a critical lens, and so there's going to be. I must have misspelled etymology. At any rate, that, <laughs> I'd have to, to switch that. Your results may vary depending on the spelling that you use. But I discovered that if I did instead origin of words, and again, I'm looking in the library catalog, so it's like books, some articles, and things like that. Then all of a sudden, there's like tons and tons and tons of stuff. And also, they don't use the term etymology, they use etymolo etymological. So maybe that would be the, the trick to go. So let's go back. Etymological. Oh, <laughs> I did misspell it. Etym I, I need a Y in there. Ooh. Etymological and hissy fit. Oh, there's one article. Tragically, it's a newspaper article, which is not scholarly. 
but we can try other ways of looking at it. Origin of word, and I'll put a star there because I want it to be word or words, wording. And what do we get with that? Still probably nothing. Oh no, two articles. So this is, this is like a really slow way of going through it. And I think the origin of these words is going to be rather scattered broadcast in like little moments in encyclopedias, dictionaries, and other articles. But let's broaden our search. Let's do, let's do an or search. Etymologic, etymology. So if I do the star, I'm doing etymology, etymological, and if I put it in brackets, oh, and do or, I'll go through this. I'm not sure if I did this in class. If we, so if I have something in parentheses like this, it's going to search all the records, the descriptions of books and articles and things like that. It's going to search all of them for etymology, etymological, or it's going to pull out origin of word or words or wording. And so we're going to have that big expanded pile. And anger is going to be our keyword that we want to find. This might be a handy search for finding a, a dictionary or a treatise or an article on the, the words of anger. You know what? We could even do rhetoric. Rhetoric oftentimes is analysis of the usage of the word rather than the history, though. But you could, you could throw rhetoric in there as well. The origin of Chinese characters, etymologia. There's all these different things that are showing up. Let me show you one last trick to narrow this down. Let's go to the advanced search. Where are you, advanced search? I'm going back to the library homepage because I know there's an advanced set search right there. Anger is a good keyword. There's, there's not a lot of other words that describe that as well as, as that word. So what we can do is we can say in the title of the thing, any field, I want title, 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 title. There we go. In the title, I want anger. And then then I want to find etymology, etymology, etymological, etymologia, and the origin of words. That can be anywhere in the record, but I want anger to be in the title. I haven't done this before, so <laughs> fingers are crossed. So I'm narrowing it down from that last search result. And there's 92. <laughs> this might be pretty good. Duck hunting in anger. I have no idea what these are, but there's only 92 to go through. Pride, courage, and anger. So this is Old English. Fighting words, anger. So this is, this is closer to the target than anything that I've looked at so far. This is rhetoric, where they're looking for anger words in a particular publication. But this might be something to go through. The language of anger explores the etymology of several anger-related words. Yeah, okay. Here's what we'll do next, though. Since this worked in this one, let's try a database and do that same search. So academic search ultimate, that would be a great place to go. Um, I remember that was one, I think it was you that said that they, um, they liked it. Another good one is called JSTOR. JSTOR is kind of like the greatest hits of scholarship over the past 150 years. So think of it like that Scopus and Web of Science, except this one goes way back, where Scopus and Web of Science only go back to the mid-90s. So let's try that advanced search in JSTOR, because the rhetorics and the analysis of language has occurred for a long time, and the impact goes over a great amount of time rather than just the last 20 years. So our first keyword 
anger, and we want that to be in the item title. It's mostly articles, mostly scholarly articles. And my second keyword is origin of words and etymological. Maybe I'll get rid of the parentheses on this one. Okay, again, fingers are crossed. Oop. So my first trick was spelling etymology correctly. A study of anger. Swallowing <laughs> frogs. I wonder if that's a euphemism. The ethics of anger. This might be um, a great place for you to start. Uh, oh, there's the word rhetoric. So try these out instead of looking for the specific euphemisms. Um, look those up in dictionaries, maybe on the open web, just to get the origins of those. But then to back it up with scholarly search or research, articles, book chapters, and things like that. That's when you would look at the origins of, of anger and, and the etymology. I can't believe I misspelled that. How embarrassing. Um, so let me know how it goes. I think this will turn out to be a, a, an expansive research that you're going to be able to cherry pick your favorite resources from, and it should build um, a, a pretty good um, work of, of writing and, and creative work and things like that. So, But do let me know how it goes. And if I've missed the mark, um, I'm happy to help further.